So this is brand new. This is our big announcement. And in fact, it just won Best in Show this morning. Congratulations. So, thank wow. you. Thank you. Nice. So this is GLXD Plus. And if you just look over here for one second, it's the star of the show. We even have a whole GLXD Plus room right here that we built with, where people can actually try it out and mess with it. So this is a brand new product that is an update of our old GLXD product. So if any of you are familiar with GLXD, mm -hmm. you'll be very, very familiar with the usability of GLXD Plus because we didn't really change anything about how you use it. What we did is change a bunch of things under the hood. The biggest one is what you can see on this screen right here. Most wireless systems for guitars that are on the Wi-Fi spectrum, uh, including the GLXD system that preceded it, were on the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum, which is what you see right here. And you can see how busy it is, right? So what we did with GLXD Plus is we also added the 5.8 gigahertz spectrum as well. So now it's, uh, that's why it's called dual band up top. So when you turn these on, the first thing it does is it scans both 2.4 and 5.8, finds the best frequency and two backup frequencies uh, in either of those two spectrums and then just runs with it. I see. Like these right here, this is a frequency manager that controls it all. Uh, you don't need the frequency manager unless you're running more than like two or three channels. But you can see here B1, B2, B3, these are all in the 5.8, which is what this found. And you can, you can see why here. Um, this, this visualization is not part of GLXD. This is something that we're using as a demo to show how crowded the spectrum is. Yeah. Yep. And so who would be perfectly suited for something like this? So anyone that is a wireless system that is not being managed by the FCC. So 2.4 and 5.8 do not get controlled by the FCC. So a lot of our touring artists that go from a lot of different places, a lot of different countries, and they know they need a wireless system that works and can and it's not going to need like 200 to 300 feet, which is what our other wireless systems do. This is just works like a charm. The only downside, if there's any downside to using the Wi-Fi uh, frequency spectrum, is it has a shorter throw than our UHF, VHF ones, which can go hundreds of feet. Okay. Right? So generally, we don't recommend you use more than 75 or 80 feet of distance. That's still uh, a pretty long for, way, though. Yeah, and for yeah. most musicians, that's actually OK, especially for guitarists. This is our most popular GLXD product that we had, and now it's available in GLXD Plus as well. So a guitarist will just wear this body pack transmitter uh, they'll run a cable out of their guitar into this transmitter on their body, and the receiver is going to be right here. It's so a pedal? Yes. It goes right yep. in the pedal board? Yep. There are oh, two cool. antennas right here. So the, the distance is not very long at all, yep. obviously, and this goes back into, this is the starting point, and then it goes through the rest of their pedal board, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And they love it because, A, it's just super, super robust, has a tuner built in, so I press the button, and it just goes into tuner, turns off the volume, you tune up, press it again, and you're back to operating in normal GLXD Plus mode. Very and cool. It is wonderful. So you can get it in this format, which is our by far our most popular. Guitarists, bassists, other musicians love this pedal. You can also get it in rack mount. So again, just make sure it's under you know, under 100 feet or so. Uh, and you can get it in tabletop. So for our corporate customers that don't need racks and whatever, they just want to put it somewhere off to the side in the corner of the room or whatever, they can get that as well. Uh, some other features of the system, rechargeable batteries. Nice, right there. We have there a brand new battery. Receiver. This is a, a little bit bigger and it lasts a little bit longer than the previous JLX D battery. So you can plug it in into, uh, into our, any of our receivers, except for the pedal because the pedal doesn't require batteries. Yep. It doesn't have any spots for it. Uh, but either the tabletop or the rack mounted receiver will charge your batteries for you. Or you can leave the batteries in the transmitter and just plug them in via USB-C. Uh, both our handheld and our uh, body pack transmitters have USB-C ports for charging. If you're using the handheld, you get a choice of three microphones, SM58, Beta58, or Beta87A. What but, are these here? Does this oh, come with the system, or is this the, an upgrade? You can, you can get with the system. Okay. They don't come with, uh, I mean, you can get it. Yep. Uh, they don't come with any of our stock system products. But yep. these are basically directional antennas that if you want to extend the range of your an, uh, antenna and have it point so that you're not getting any, uh, as much interference as you would otherwise with an omnidirectional antenna, you can use these instead. And this is true for all of our wireless systems. For those of you that use wireless regularly, you might see paddle antennas that are considerably bigger. Again, Wi-Fi, much higher frequencies, smaller antennas. Yep. And you can just hide them wherever you want. This is here if you're running more than uh, two or three channels. Uh, you can run six channels controlled by one frequency manager. You just connect them through the back using antenna cables. And so you fire it up, and the frequency manager just does all the work for you. It finds all the clean frequencies that you need, including the backups. If you have a dropout, uh, it'll automatically switch to one of the uh, backup frequencies, and you won't even notice a thing. That's why I love talking about the system. It's probably one of the reasons why it won Best in Show is because it's priced reasonably at about 500 bucks, and uh, it has some of the more advanced features that only Axiant has, which is just cool. 
It's also the only system that if the frequencies change, your transmitters will automatically adjust. So if I have a transmitter that's already paired to this receiver, if I do a new scan and I find a new frequency, whether it's manual or automatic, this guy is going to just automatically adjust. And that makes it super I'll, simple to use. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. That's, and that's the whole point, is that we want you to be able to plug it, turn it on, everything connects, and you just go. Nice. Well, thank you. Yeah, you're very Appreciate welcome. It. Awesome stuff.